today is the second day of my trip to London. Today I'm off with a good friend, a fellow photographer and a friend for many years over to Greenwich. So we're staying in a hotel here near Tower Bridge. So we're probably going to get either a train or an Uber or something over to uh, Greenwich and we're going to do a bit of a walk around and get some shots. So here we are in Greenwich now, just been dropped off by the Uber taxi, just walking towards the Cutty Sark. So the first thing I want to do is just show you this lens because this Sigma EFM 30mm lens, it's a prime lens, it's a great lens, it's nicely weighted, just look at the size of that, it just fits lovely on the front of the Canon M50 Mark II. So we're just walking towards the Cutty Sark and I'll see you in a moment. So here we are at the Cutty Sark, just need to get some warm up shots to get started. So I thought I'd take a shot of the masts just to get started. I've set the camera into shutter priority today just to see how it performs and it gives me less to worry about. So here it is, we're on 200th of a second f13 iso 100 so i've just moved around a little bit i just want to get a lower shot pointing up towards the masts it's quite a windy day so i need my shutter speed a bit faster just to help keep still really as I'm walking past the Cutty Sark, I saw this chap just carrying one of these street bollards and I thought, I've got to get a shot of this. And I just about got in there in time before everybody walked in front of me. Then we got onto the Cutty Sark and started taking some photos around the Cutty Sark. So I've got this one of the bell, which I thought was quite nice. I quite like the color of it. and then went up to the top and I saw this idea of framing the cityscape through the front of the boat or the, we should say the bow of the boat. So that seemed to come out quite well with all the colors of the sky. Then I just moved around a little bit and took another one using the boat as a bit of a frame. So I'm quite pleased with that one as well. So although it's a bright cloudy day it was a bit um, windy but I saw these shadows and people walking through on the deck so I thought this would be a really nice photo just to capture a bit of life on the boat and then I look back towards this building I'm not actually sure what this building is but it's got a sort of a rounded or domed glass roof and I thought that would make a nice shot back towards the Thames with the nice coloured sky there and fluffy clouds and then I thought I'd better get one of a view of all the people down below just to capture that scene obviously not too crowded because it was still quite a cold day I moved further along and the artistic side of me kicked in. I'm not very artistic really, but uh, these ropes looked really good to take a bit of a close up shot. So I just needed to frame this and there it is there. I quite like the different color of the ropes against the nice polished wood of the boat. And then I saw this one where we've sort of got the rope in a sort of figure of eight tied off so again just adjust the settings here and get a bit of a close-up shot and there we go it's quite nice shot that one obviously beauty is in the eye of the beholder but here comes another one for you of the ropes on their sort of pulleys here Again, I like these types of shots. So I walked further around the boat and here we go again. Here's the artistic side of me coming out again. I just got this wheel. I like the color of it, the black 
and the contrast with the rest of the boat which was quite nice and then I did a sort of a look up shot for one of the lifeboats that's hanging on the Cutty Sark we're now off we're walking along the Thames path and I saw these people and I just got this I like the light and the shadows here with these two walking past and then I saw these two they were actually playing ball throwing the ball to each other but I just caught them chatting what life is like in London it's great I love being in London and taking shots and I only just got this one as well as you can see my friend just <laughs> was going to walk in front and I just got this shot of this family and then I saw the bus and I do like taking pictures of the bus and what I liked about this was I could see the driver and reflections in the window and reflections of the tree so I thought it was a really good shot to capture I had to work really quickly on that one and then this one this chap was walking along he had quite a lot of hair and it seemed to blend in with the trees in the background so I just had to get that one again I had to think fairly quickly but that's why it's quite good having it in shutter priority because you've only got one setting to take and um, this one is just uh, a shot where I thought it was quite nice with the blue sky the clock and the sort of green bushes in front and then further along there was this wall with sort of carvings inside it or concreted in I thought it looked quite nice and this one I've I've not even edited this one this is just to give you an idea that when I am walking around I take shots of some of the street names so I can remember where I am um, this one another bit of advice if you can find something to lean on I mean it was quite a windy day so it's quite difficult to keep still so I just leaned on the fence I didn't have a tripod with me and I love this cityscape just across the Thames and I just waited there for that boat and then I saw this anchor and I thought this would be another nice frame pity about the fence in the background but I think it worked out okay using the fence and the anchor as a sort of frame for the cityscape and then further on I saw this pub and I saw people sitting there and I thought I've got to get a bit of pub life as we're walking around London and I loved the colours the, the black and the white it really looked nice and here's just a look up of a tree. I just like the shape of this tree. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, don't forget. Anyway, we went further along and I, these coloured buildings, I thought these were really good with the sky. You can't really see it in the video, but you'll see it in the picture. Blue sky with a few white clouds and the nice colours of these buildings. So quite a nice look up shot. And here's the cityscape again across the Thames another slightly different view of the city again I like the colours of the buildings and I've got the boat coming across and the nice moody clouds in the background now here's the artistic side in me coming out again that rusty sort of pillar coming up I decided to take two shots one where that rust rusty pillar was in focus and then my second one was where the cityscape was in focus just to give you an idea of the sort of thing you can do take two photos and get slightly two different perspectives then I saw a puddle so you see a puddle as a photographer you've got to try and get a reflection shot so I just focused on the had the reflection in the puddle and I got my friend <laughs> reflection walking along the rest of the scenes not that good is it fences etc but there you go you've got to give it a go as a photographer and here's another artistic one I thought I'll try and use this as a frame and get that boat coming past with the sort of splash coming up and now the GoPro battery has run out so here's the rest of the shots as we're working our way home I've got a few look up shots and the very last one I really love when you get there it's a shot of a person with a bowler hat and it really is great and I put it into black and white as well 
So enjoy the last couple of photos here and if you like this video please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.